What's going on, you two? West Hobbies RC. So today we are back with the Goose Sky S1. And if the Goose Sky S1 is really worth buying, is this helicopter all it's cracked up to be? Let's get a flight in and I'll go over some things because so far I have been extremely impressed with this micro machine. So everything's the same as it was. A little chilly today. Flip off throttle hold, normal mode. Three minute timer. So first thing, for a micro helicopter, this thing is incredibly stable. This is an auto level with a little bit of wind blowing. I mean, that is just a incredibly stable little helicopter. That is no hands on the sticks, wind is pushing it in that direction. So for a beginner or someone looking to practice their skills or indoor flying, I think this thing is great. It's got great tail performance, idle up one, Tail holds rock solidly. It's very smooth and precise, predictable. I have flown a lot of micro helicopters and this thing is just awesome. Only issue with it is it's small. So you can get away from you real quick if you're flying out far. But I definitely recommend this little guy. It is hands down the best micro helicopter that I have flown. And the more flights I get on it, the more comfortable I am with it. That tail is just rock solid, which is just insane for such a little helicopter. We're in idle up one, so a low head speed. It's got tons and tons of power. Really doesn't even need all the power that it has, but it's just fun to play with it. In an idle up one, you can get about three and a half to four minutes, maybe a little bit more, depending on your head speed. Oh, look at that. And we stuck it in the ground. Is it durable? Let's see. Back into normal mode. It is a strong little helicopter. I mean, that wasn't really a crash. running out of battery so let's throw another pack in and fly it again we got a fresh pack in i just wanted to show you no damage to the helicopter after that little stiff upside down everything looks great you, as you've seen in the video we just immediately flew it again so we got a fresh pack in we're going to do the same three minute timer we got to clear our timer flip off throttle hold normal mode Right into idle up one. This is my favorite head speed here to fly the helicopter in. thing is just an awesome the only one problem with this helicopter is you need more batteries that's my only complaint need more batteries but speaking of more batteries i need to order those I mean, let's get this thing into an inverted hover all right inverted hover Hands off, I put a little bit of negative to help it climb. Look how solid that thing is. 
And then tail performance, we're gonna do full negative inverted punch out. Tail don't move. Quick cyclic, the tail's just there. But let's try high head speed. Regular, tail's rock solid, negative. Tail's right there, negative. Tail is just incredibly rock solid. Back into a lower head speed. I mean, this is just such a fun little machine. Governor takes a minute for it to kick back down. This thing is just so much fun. It's just such a solid. So if you guys haven't got your S1, highly, highly recommend picking this little helicopter up. Look at this thing. Goose Guy did a fantastic job with this little helicopter. I mean, that's just so solid. No expo. I have my servos sped up. Just look at this. Our battery's dying. Battery died. So we flew for three minutes, 15 seconds, uh, mixed normal, mostly idle up one, but we did have some idle up two head speed in there. And for you guys wanting to know what the head speed or the throttle curve is, I don't know exact RPM numbers, but for idle, normal mode is 60%. For idle up one, 75%. Idle up two is 90%. Personally, I like 75 to 80% RPM on this machine. I think it's the perfect amount of head speed where it's not insanely high and ridiculous power because this little thing has a ton of power. That's one thing they got with this is it has so much power, but the tail holds so good. So only my only negative is not towards the helicopter, but towards me, I need to buy more batteries. I think they're in stock now. They weren't when I got this. So I'm gonna go order some more packs, probably like 10 of them. That way I could just fly this thing pack after pack after pack, use it just for fun little field flying here, front yard flying, warm up flying, anything like that. Tail motor's cool, main motor's cool. All of our servos are great. Great design of the helicopter. I really love this front battery where you could just unplug your battery pull it right out the front no front can or taking the canopy off no hatches it locks into place very solidly that battery is not going anywhere of course you guys could check out the unboxing and review video on this little guy if you want to see more about it but i want to thank you guys so much for watching this video on the goose sky s1 i call it the micro monster because it really is a micro monster there is no other micros on the market that can compete with this little guy right here so if you guys want to help and support the channel. There's a Patreon and PayPal in the description below. For Patreon, you guys get exclusive pictures and, and updates on stuff I'm working on before anybody else sees it and you have one-on-one -on -one messaging with me. And for PayPal, it's just a thank you for all the videos and everything that I do. And if you don't wanna do any of that, just hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and watch these videos, share them with your friends. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Take care and have a great day.